We'll call this a meeting to order, a community involvement meeting, October 3rd, 2019. Uh, the first order of business will be uh, member input, and we have no guests tonight. But I do want to um, recognize that this community involvement committee does welcome guests, so if anybody does want to speak to this committee, they always can, first Thursday of the month. Uh, so we'll go on to discussing the mission of the Community Involvement Committee. Uh, Ms. Mary Sinkis um, brought this up our meeting two months ago in August, and we discussed it lightly last month, um, but we didn't get too far since Janet and Marissa weren't here. Um, so we want to discuss more on our, our mission statement of this committee. And Steve, last month, he um, wanted to see what it says on the website when it comes to our mission. And this is what it says currently on the website. The committee advises the administration and or the board of directors on matters pertaining to the residents and members of the association. The committee will work to improve awareness and understanding of the social, recreational, and cultural activities available to the residents and members of the association. They also help plan for the future needs of the members in view of the changing demographics of the association. The committee will work to incubate new social, recreational, and cultural initiatives aimed at residents and members. And that's what it says currently. And um, from there, I want to open it up to any ideas from there and what everybody thinks. I thought I had a copy of that one, but I don't. I just printed oh, off oh. the, the agenda. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, John. Does anybody have a take on exactly what that means? I think it's very vague. I mean, it's it, it could pertain to multitude of different things. Uh, I'd almost like to, depending on the route that we go, I would like to change this as as we go, depending on if we if we decide to just keep up with the same two events, mm -hmm. and then that's it. Or I know you two at some point when you came in had great ideas. Um, I think we all previous to you coming in, we had had those same kind of ideas. So I think at this point, I would leave this, and this is just my opinion, uh, would be to leave this and then figure out where we want to go. Do we want to change and do different recreational aspects, or do we want to keep the same two and then maybe go from there? It, it seems to me like this statement could easily overlap the other com committees that we have. And so the challenge is to, um, I guess, develop an identity. Mm -hmm. And this almost also has a flavor of marketing on it or um, advertising or, um, you know, almost down to the level of brochure development and all that so you know what what is the let's see how to say this the events that we have how would we define those in terms of uh, meaning for the community or um, how they reflect our role in cert in service so I think that might be a place to start. Well, I think the Fireflies is, is about social gathering for the community. And the coat drive is to help the community. And so those are two very important events. And they've gotten bigger and bigger since we started them. But that's just my views. That's right. It, it does get the community out and, uh, you know, get to talking to each other. Um, and it gets, gets them involved um, when it comes to volunteering. Um, because on the coat drive, for instance, I want to see more volunteers help us out to get the coats from the 
um, the places and take them to the prayer shop and then to have them help um, on the on the day of the way to the coat store so basically just getting volunteers out and about and getting everybody involved with each other uh, but I have a question okay so um, when you did the fireflies and tailgating did you have any feedback from other members of the community on how they can volunteer because like Right now, we're short on our committee. Okay, we need to get more people to be involved. Mm -hmm. I'm like volunteers, like how do we, you know, find these people? Like I had mentioned when we did the, the meet and greet, yes. and that was the first time, mm -hmm. I guess, that we were there, mm -hmm. and you know, maybe we need to do another one, or I don't know, the other activities that, you know, uh, the recreation group have planned that, we need to be out there to, for the members to know that we are here, mm -hmm. where we need people to volunteer to get our, some um, people involved in our activities that, because we cannot have the same people just doing all the activities. Right. Because like when I look at, I search on Google, <laughs> benefits of community involvement, volunteering um, connects to others committing to a shared activity with the community, expands the network and both social um, network. And so basically, we wanna be involved in the community, we wanna be out there, we need to market ourselves or how do we do that? I'm like, yes, we can have plans, other events, but we need more people to kinda get involved. And so uh, basically, that's the first thing that I guess we need to do. Okay. We, I think it'd be a good idea just to challenge ourselves to come up with some wording uh, for the statement. Um, I do agree with you, John, um, but we have been wanting something like this for more than a year now, and I think it's something that is needed um, to identify ourselves. And it is a big challenge, Janet. Um, so I would say challenge ourselves to come up with words and then we can come back to the table with those. I guess I would like to identify some goals and objectives before I start putting words on paper. Okay. You know, I heard volunteerism, you know, encouraging volunteerism. Um, I also heard uh, building social networks among the you know, POA, and there, I'm sure there are a lot of ways that that's being done through recreation and golf and all of that. Um, I'm wondering about um, how we, well, the word isn't network, but in, and interact doesn't do it either, but I'm thinking engage the other committees in um, the work we have to do because, you know, really we kind of are almost like a broad umbrella over each of the specific areas. Mm -hmm. And so what does that mean? What does that, what might that look like? Yeah, for instance, too, uh, when it came to the Fireflies and Tailgating event, I had Tammy reach out to other committees and see if they wanted to volunteer. Mm -hmm. And she had some responses. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the numbers of volunteers at that event could have been a lot better, um, but it just did not, and it didn't come together. We made it great. It was a great event, uh, but there could have been more volunteers. Well. Um, how do we how do we reach out and touch someone? Yeah, <laughs> you know, um, the newspaper uh, was here last month, uh, Lynn Atkins of the Weekly Vista, and she did put an article in. It was a great article, mm -hmm. I thought, and that was that's exposure to so many people. I'm not sure how many subscribers they have um, right now, but someone reads it. It's just that if they want to reach out and if they want to help out. And these meetings are taped now, so they go on our Facebook page 
and uh, YouTube. Um, how about the uh, POA newsletter? I'm like, mm. should we have a blurb there that says that the community involvement committee are looking for volunteers we, to join our committee? That. Yes, we, we did that, I, I think it was three or four months ago. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we need to do it again. Yes. <laughs> because yes. if we haven't mm -hmm. had anybody come up and say, hey, I would like to join your committee, I mean, I kind of have to kind of do it until you get one person or two people, you know, two people kind of be interested. All right. And um, maybe even say like, what, are, what, what do we do in our, you know, have a blurb like, yeah. uh, what are we involved in? Like, why do I want to join this committee? You know, do I have the time? What is, what, how much time do I need? Because they say, oh yeah, we have these activities, we do this meeting. Because sometimes people assume, you yes. know, oh, it's going to take a lot of my time. I work a full-time job, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and so unless they get the information, well, there might be some new people out there who just moved to the area and wants to get involved. Right. Oh, that's one committee that I might want to get involved in. So, I mean, like, yeah, we do it three months ago, but maybe there's someone who just moved in a month ago or, or didn't even read mm -hmm. their newsletter and then just not read it. <laughs> so, I mean, like, does it cost us to put something in that newsletter? I mean, is it going to cost us some money or is it just another few sentences that we need to add? I mean, it won't hurt to just inform the people that we're looking for people to be in the committee. Yeah, I'm not sure what the cost is on that. Um, is, zero. Yeah, there's no. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, we just have to get with uh, marketing and yeah. whoever is in charge of emailing those news, newsletters out. Because there is a, a, a main one, and there is a recreational one, and there is yes. a golf one. Yeah. And is there one more? Dining. 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 Yeah, so I mean, okay. there's four avenues where you can yeah. kind of inform the people and like, you know, that'll help and maybe we can have people join and yeah. then at the same time know that there's something that we're doing. And I like to put it on Facebook also because that's always a good avenue. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'm wondering if we can look at maybe some active, you know, beyond the passive ways to reach out. And one thought that occurs to me was we did have some people express interest at the meet and greet. And I'm wondering if we could just follow up with people who are at the meet and greet. Yeah. And, um, you know, kind of see how are things going? You know, are you, you feel like uh, the POA is you know, being responsive to the things that you need. We'd really like to see you involved and be more um, hands-on. Right. I, I, it, it, almost like a campaign. I mean, I'm not really <laughs> saying we're not going to put all those little, you know, um, <clears throat> yard signs, but we've got to get aggressive. Sorry, maybe. Um, and. Um, it feels to me as though, um, I don't know if we consider part of the community businesses, and if we do, if we do, well, I don't know, let me put that out there. Do we consider part of the community businesses? Then how are we, how are we engaging them? You know, what, what ways can we, um, I, I'm not looking at an advertising aspect, but like we're doing with the coat drive, mm -hmm. are there other ways to engage with them? Um, There's a Bella Vista Business Association yeah. that yeah. meets one, once a month. And talk with them and maybe get a business person on this committee, you know? Or maybe invite one of their members of the business group. I'm like, because then it's not just all residents when we say our demographics are changing and we need, it's community. When you say community, it's everybody in the community. The residents, the businesses, those having services like doctors, dentists, I'm like, they're all part of the community. I'm a, that's why, yeah, it's, you say P, we're POAs, people who live here, but there's people who have businesses here who live here. And right. the services, people who work in the bank, people who work in the grocery, you know, so, uh, then we also have 
a, a, a variety of background experiences that we can all share when we kind of think of things to do and you know and then also the needs of the community they might know more than what we know mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so we have to probably have a diverse group you know so that can help if we I, I don't know is it part of the bylaws that only people in the you know paying members be part of the committee or is it open to other people see I have no clue so yeah you would have to be a, a member of the POA to be um, involved in this committee and in good standing yeah but like there there's some of them who work in these businesses who live here too right so maybe I mean like we can even probably invite them yeah. you know if there if there's no one who wants to volunteer maybe there some people are just waiting for an invitation would you be willing to join our committee and I mean it's one venue right. that you can probably find members and if they're not a member they could always uh, be a guest yes and just yes. be here I would hope that we would have a new mission statement before we solicited more members and yeah. I guess I would like to hear from people what they think maybe some goals and objectives would be for us Getting back to the recruiting thing, mm -hmm. how did we find you two? They found us. <laughs> did you? Yeah. It was... Uh, I saw the thing in the newsletter. Yeah. I saw it in the newsletter and I wanted to get involved in my community, so that's how I applied. <laughs> well, I, I, I was looking for volunteer activities and I happened to be a really good friend of a former board member and she said well you know there's committees mm -hmm. and I thought okay I don't know much but you know I can participate but I think um, there are probably a lot of people out there that it it never occurs to them you know they don't see other than you know the events and some of them may not even be engaged with the events like the fireflies maybe uh, they're part of you know the demographic that you know just may not be interested in that so you know ha how other are we visible mm -hmm. and so I, I, I think there we might have a flood of people if we started wearing sandwich boards and t-shirts <laughs> We, we do have t-shirts, actually. Um, a former committee member have had them made, mm. and they're green. Um, I just haven't worn mine in a, quite a while. But there is some, um, and they actually look pretty nice. I could um, try to bring one uh, next month and see what uh, you guys think, because I, I could reach out to that um, lady and see if we can get more made. There's a cost to it, but. We can see what we can do. Yeah, that's right, though. We need a much more definitive yes. mission statement before we go mm -hmm. out looking for help. Yeah. So that will open up to goals and objectives. Uh, that's a good, good place to start, other than what we've already said. Because when I joined this committee, it, it was called Young Residents. So I had no idea um, what to expect. Just I wanted to be involved in something, and I made a, a great choice. And then we changed to community involvement, and what what it is, I what I imagined um, getting the community involved with other things, with, with things in the in Bella Vista, and I just want to I want to see people volunteer and get together such as the fireflies and tailgating. That's a great event, and that's what I imagined. But that's kind of an objective that I looked at. So do you see, Dylan, um, do you, where do you see us going, say, in the next three to five years? I mean, you said it started out as young residents, mm -hmm. so then it evolved to this. And do you see us just doing 
the two events or do you see us reaching or branching out like some of the ideas that the ladies had as far as doing something else or having a third or changing up what we've been doing you know to like toys for tots or you know doing something in in that aspect i think that's where we need to look at in order to even start on a mission statement Mm -hmm. is where we think we will be or where we are and where we will be and then trying to define that and um i was just thinking how are we different from like churches or other groups you know uh, that also have involvement in the community you know because I'm also a member of two different groups you know and we also do something for the community and so how do we differentiate ourselves from them or how do we merge with them too yes. you know we're we're kind of helping each other we're in a community like I'm like I'm in the American Legion Auxiliary, you know, so our group is focused on veterans, you know, helping the veterans, helping the family of veterans. And so, when, and then there's another group of ladies that we work with, working for helping young women get scholarships. You know, that's also community involvement. So I said, like, how do we either differentiate ourselves or kind of merge with them where we can all work together, you know, because it's becoming a big community, and there's and then there are churches that are also doing, like they have Boy Scouts and they have, you know, um, some groups that are, you know, fundraising for something, which is community involvement, or uh, maybe um, organizing a like a pantry, you know, a food pantry. That's community involvement. You know, there's so many different ways you know that people can get involved so but how does our group be different are we over them or do we just join them or be involved in them and like we kind of have to really identify yeah i want to i want the community to know that we're a committee that can that can help each other so um that's a very good idea is there and John, to answer your question, I've always seen this committee doing two events a year because um, in my eyes, I thought three would just be too much um, too much um, work for us, but it's not all about us. Our goal, I want our goal to be to reach out to the community and get help um, and to get more volunteers. Um, but uh, three, Going to three events or three things to do that we plan, I think it'd be okay um, if we had uh, enough help. Yes, I agree. And um, you and Tia have brought up the idea of you know us being a point of interest when it comes to if people want to volunteer or you know when we have a storm and there's debris everywhere, we can be a point of contact. And I oh, think that's yeah. a very good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I know that T and I have done a few things where we've had people on Facebook reach out and go, my mm-hmm. mower broke, yeah, my yard's this tall, and she and I have gone out there and we've weed eaten yeah. just because. I mean, no big deal, but I, I don't know if maybe that would be part of where we could go as well. It's just like you said, a point of contact. Yeah. What um, about doing an information table at, at the different <laughs> locations like... For instance, I, my Christmas bazaar is next month mm-hmm. at Reardon, and I'd be happy to let you have or okay. anyone have an information table set up because there are a lot of people in the community that come to the Christmas bazaar, yes. Yes. and it would be a great way you could you could collect email addresses, mm-hmm. you could collect phone numbers, you could get a list of people who are truly interested, and then follow up. Yeah. That's so I'd be thing. happy to let you have a table somewhere, like maybe in the entrance, the front entrance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, all my other tables are full, but yeah. I, I would yeah. be happy to let you do that. I think that's a good idea. That's mm-hmm. kind of similar to like when we did the meet and greet where mm-hmm. people are starting to know us. Okay, well, we've seen them again. You know, maybe like, oh, this is something that I'd like to 
you know, join, and we'll have a sign-up sheet. And, and, and that particular type of event, um, people are all coming, and they're they're energetic, they're yeah. happy, they're in a good mood, they're ready to shop, yeah. and it would be a good way to maybe meet, you know, the people who are interested. I think that that's a good idea. Even like the other fairs that you have, like mm -hmm. the business fair, the health fair, the senior fair. Oh, I mean, like, if we just have a table there, then people would know us, and then mm -hmm. then they would know that there's this group, you know, and not just only to get people right uh, to volunteer, mm -hmm. but to just know, you know. And then as we go along, and we have you know different things that we're helping the community, not just events like. You had said like someone who needed a help with cutting the grass. There's some old ladies that can't, you know, I've seen it in like one of the websites, like Positively Bella Vista. There would be an old lady like, I can't, I, I had surgery, I need my grass cut, there's no one here to help me. I mean, that's like a person that needs our help. Mm -hmm. right? And we don't have to have a big, huge event to help this person because they're a member of the community, they're a resident, they're probably, you know, member of the association, and, or someone who just needs a ride somewhere, you know, sometimes people just don't even know where to go, you know, and, I mean, when you say community involvement, it mm -hmm. can be any, anything, really. One way to get a lot of email addresses is to have a drawing for something. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Like a, a raffle. gift card to build yeah. the BVs. Anything with a price. Um. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we can give them ten percent off. We are. <laughs> ten more percent. Yeah. Or we can approach some of the businesses and give us some gift cards or gift certificates, yeah. because for them that's an advertisement. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, you can just go to some of the nail salon or some place or you know. Um, give them some percent discount or you know harps or you know, allens they they probably be willing to help out you know because it's for the community and it's free advertisement <laughs> yes and I, I do want to recognize that there is many groups in Bella Vista that do like to go out and help mm -hmm. uh, our residents already um, but we would just be a POA piece of yeah. it and get out in the community even more you know, I, is there, we have, uh, since we have a city, mm -hmm. do they have like a volunteer coordination no. piece? No, they don't. You know, we, I, I was thinking here, boy, we could, this could be a lot to bite off, but it would be nice if there would be a way that we could facilitate information about help that's available as opposed to necessarily providing it ourselves. And for me, I mean, that would, um, I know a lot of conversations on Bella Vista neighbors and, you know, it's, mm -hmm. uh, no. I like the idea of getting information, almost like the information from the meet and greet. A lot of people don't go to that, but as you said, put that out at the um, events and fairs and so forth. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, um, encourages community involvement so um, and I and I also like I, I, I'm really attracted to that idea of finding a way to um, share the share the resources you know just community based individual family businesses or whatever resources for people that need it that might not know where to go so I, I'm real attracted to that idea. Being a central point of contact, or not necessarily central point, a point of contact. Correct. Kathy, are you in charge of the Flea in the Park? Of the? Of the Flea in the Park next weekend? No, I am helping to coordinate helping. it. Oh, okay. Okay. I think the animal shelter is doing that, isn't it? But no, I, can, I can check, I mean, I'm sure that if if you wanted to set up a table and talk and reach out to residents, mm -hmm. we'd be more than happy. Yeah. I mean, we'll find a spot. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the setup, but um, aren't they doing something different this year? I, um, I it's, thought I read. It's still um, 
all the, the different vendors and food trucks and, okay. and there's a kid's zone and there's just all kinds of activities Okay. and vintage cars, vintage yeah. RVs and it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, if we could set up even a, a small table and, and just be a presence, mm-hmm. I'm sure one of us or two of us could be there mm-hmm. and not the whole day because it's, it's from 9 a.m. to 5. Um, it is. It's yeah. from Saturday 9 to 5 and Sunday 9 to 2 this year. Okay. We have um, added the extra. Okay. Just um, why don't you send me an email afterwards and we can coordinate. Yeah. Thank if you me. would, after that, uh, times on that, but email do me. Do you want to go word, ahead please? and set up for the Christmas Bazaar? It's when is that? Saturday, November the 9th. And I could have a spot just like at the entry. Um, if, that'd be best. If anybody wants to do that. It's from 9 to 2, Saturday. Okay. Or you could um, have a table set up in our area for refreshments. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That might be a fun spot. Yeah. They serve alcohol. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people. <laughs> yeah. It, it will be busy in there, and it would be a fun spot to, to talk to people. And the Flea in the Park is, of course, outside, so uh-huh. I will um, send Kathy an email. And then if anybody wants to uh, possibly help, uh, give me an email. Mm-hmm. And the um, new residence meeting, it, the next one will be in November. I don't know the exact date. For the meet and greet? The meet and greet for the new residence. It's going to be in November? Yes. And Debbie Sorensen. She's on the recreation committee, and she's the one that um, is in charge of that so meeting. We, last time we just went there and we just introduced ourselves, maybe we could kind of have a place. Yeah, yeah we could. Uh, November you know, 9th. All those it's, no, it's November 9th as well. November, November 9th, 9th is, oh, that's the Christmas Bazaar, November 9th. Oh, yeah, the same day. Oh, they have it the same day again, just like the business fair. Oh, huh. We, we can make something happen. Oh, okay. And the meet and greet is like 9 o'clock also? Well, well usually. 10. Oh, 10. But it really would only take one of us each place. Yeah. I mean, I'd be willing to do either or. We can just split up. Yes, exactly. If you come to mine, you can shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I unfortunately and, will. And you could have a Bloody Mary or a mimosa. That <laughs> sounds more inviting. Though. I'd really be facilitating. Man. <laughs> Y'all come now. Well, and the, the meet and greet, you, you can only really do it during the first few minutes of socialization because then they have a meeting. Yeah. All right. So, like, we can go there during the first part of the socialization, and then after that, we can go to the next one. Yeah. We could. Then, you know, you know what I'm saying? We'll get that coordinated yeah. here in, in the next week. Mm-hmm. Does anybody else have any um, thoughts on our mission statement? I think maybe we'll need to revisit it when Steve is here and get his opinion. <laughs> yes, we'll definitely I'm, come back I'm to like, it. It's not something that you decide right away. We're still kind of, you know, kind of looking at it and figuring out exactly I think just uh, as a small recap, I think that we're going to keep the two events potentially down the line once we get more volunteers, we'll go into three, yeah. potentially. Um, but I would like to, in the mission statement, maybe have something like what she was saying as far as just a another point of contact for residents in need or something that and it doesn't necessarily have to be in need it could be for just anything Mm -hmm. yeah i think i agree thank you for that discussion that was that was good one thing you might want to think about if you're going to go to other events Mm -hmm. and talk the committee getting some signage like a banner that says Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh who you are Right. 
get a get a banner, get some signs. Um, you could even do like on the table linens. We can wear t-shirts and yeah. the t-shirts. Then identify us right away. Yeah, I can actually. <laughs> I can email you a picture We're of that soft, shirt soft so you can see community. it as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, thank you for that discussion. We'll uh, <laughs> revisit that in November next month. So we'll go on to the final discussion on the co the planning of the coat drive uh, for this year, uh, which uh, starts on October 14th and it'll end on November 3rd. And uh, you should have a um, piece of paper with the signage for the coat drive. Does everybody have that? Mm -hmm. no, no. no. Okay. Can you pass that down? Oh, I, think I think I got that one last time we were here. Oh, okay. I thought it was print. I, I could be wrong. Or so that um, has the wording of the the poster that will be on the, the boxes that are will be at the POA locations at Allen's. Are they gonna be big? They're not they're not too big. I mean are the Oh the Yeah the posters. Oh, yes, yes, they'll be large, I'm sorry. So think of the the uh, if we those trash cans the temporary trash cans. Uh -huh. The Corrigan trash cans. Oh, nice. yeah. yeah there we go. Awesome. That's what we used before. They're they're white boxes, cardboard boxes, um, and we put the poster in the front of them. They're nice and lightweight, easy to transport. And to let you know, Dylan, we've already set out for the uh, skeleton house of Bella Vista. Yes. We've already set out our donation box. Okay, good. Just in case. Yeah, I saw that the Democrat Gazette um, put that little piece when they had the picture of Tia. Mm-hmm. In there, so I thought that was pretty neat. That's, I'm, I'm sure Tia told them to put that in there. <laughs> so, have we contacted the places where we're having the boxes, or is or yes. do we have to be? I'm like, is someone already doing that, or do we have to be involved? I mean, other than the right? Yeah, I'm like, well. So I'm we'll like, yes, we'll have a, the po POA Recreation Centers, Allen Foods. I told Steve Morrow, the manager yeah, Steve. of uh, um, Allen's, that it'll start October 14th and end on November 3rd. And then Cooper Elementary, and then Lake Point, and then the Skeleton House, which is T and John's house on Sand Ridge Drive, which is um, on the. I'm not your costume. I'm wondering who the hell is Skeleton. And the Well, it was funny because the first time I. I saw this, it said the, said the skeleton house. I was like, what's the skeleton house? <laughs> skeleton house. <laughs> that would be ours. And then Arvest Banks still need to verify with them. That's oh. the only one mm -hmm. that we still need to verify. Are there, can we add to those? We can, um, but we I think there is a number of boxes that we have already. Oh, limited. Yes. Yeah, my number. I believe it was 17, 16. 16? Mm -hmm. Oh, the 17 was mine. Oh, that the 17 I had. was here. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, because I, I kept one. Okay. <laughs> we, we collect quite a bit with that amount. Okay. 17 yeah. boxes is what you're putting I mean, up. but it's a continuation. I was going to yeah. say, it's almost yeah. like a daily cycle uh -huh. of going okay. through those. I just right. didn't know if we. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a lot. Yep. Wait, it, wait. <laughs> and the, look, the locations are pretty good where they are because you have Lake Point on the west mm -hmm. west side near Lot Lomond or on Lot Lomond, and then you have Cooper Elementary in the middle of the um, city, and then the POA Recreational Centers and Pro Shops covers pretty much. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we had discussed uh, two restaurants, but they're so close to Reardon that Reardon is good. Who be responsible for putting out the boxes? Let's see, who did that last year? Kathy, did you help with that? I did year? a lot of it. You did yeah. a lot of it, uh -huh. and I'm sure you would need some I think, help. This I think year. it was me. I think I put them at all those. I think spots. it was. Yeah. I, I think yeah. I think it was me. So, <laughs> so. if anybody 
So, thanks for volunteering again. So, uh, where, do you, yeah, right. where are the boxes located right now? In Reardon? Um, they are at Reardon. Oh, okay. I can yes. help. I, I live right. across the street. How convenient for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when do you want them out now? October 14th? Well, it will start on October 14th, so we could have them. So, do you have a list of who's going to do this area, you know, then we you know, or I'm like, how many people are distributing the boxes? I'll go That's ahead and old. get the skeleton house. Okay, you I got that one. Skeleton house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what we need okay, to decide. So not, not too we much need to decide. I have right, some no. extra help at Reardon, so um, I so, have I, um, a lot of the the maintenance. Oh, okay. They are really great to help me when I volunteer them to help too. <laughs> okay, so, so do you have someone for Arvis Bank? No, not yet. But that's what we need to decide tonight. I can do that. Okay. The okay. three banks. Three locations. Correct. I can do our best bank. I won't be back until the seventeenth, but I can do anything after the seventeenth. Okay. How about Lake Lake Point? That's too far from me. And you've got Reardon, of uh -huh. course. So I, that's that's taken yeah. care of close to me. If there's somewhere I need to go, um, just Bolin told me. Okay. Kind of thing. I I will automatically take care of the the recreation centers and, and the, the pro, pro shops. shops. Okay. Okay. For for picking up and you what? know distributing into okay. the. Okay. Are we just going to put it in the uh, old pro shop? Yes. Um, as far as I know, we haven't changed that. Correct. Okay. Good. Correct. Okay. What we want to do though this year is we want to sort them when we put those coats yeah, in the shop. Yeah, ahead of time. So we yeah. don't spend uh, much time. You know, at the end of the coat drive, trying to get through those. So, so probably if we start on the 14th, that we need to put the boxes on the 13th, or yeah, we can on the 14th. We can have them on the 13th. Okay. I can do probably Allen's because if I'm going to Arvis Bank, I can just do both okay. areas there. I Allen's will, and the Arvis Bank, and then I'll just go back to. I can take care of Cooper. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, we'll just pick it up from your office there in Reardon. That would be fine. I will. I will get them as soon as we get all the posters, and I'll put all the posters on all the boxes. They're very easy to. Um, they just fold up, and you can just put them together so they don't take up very much room in your vehicle. Yeah, I have an SUV. So. Okay, and I'll just keep them in my office, and whenever I have them, I'll I'll let Dylan yeah. know when when they're ready to be picked up and then okay. you can just swing by. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. And, and the people, is there a particular person that we need to, <laughs> Bless you. when we go to the bank, that just, they know it's coming? Yes, I'll, I'll coordinate okay. that. You coordinate so I've been in discussions. Pick up and mm -hmm. okay. And last year at the Arvest at um, Sugar Creek Center, it was basically, you just go to the left and just put it right there next to a wall. Because okay. you have a, like a, you go in and then there's a, like that little room and mm -hmm. then you go through another door. The foyer. Yeah. And then to the left the is where we have the box. Oh, in the side. Okay. okay. And at, um, see, Town Center, Town Center and Highlands, I'm not sure where it was placed, but I will find out from someone that yeah. saw it last year. Okay. And then the one in, uh, near Harps, our best back there. Yeah, that oh, that's a town center. Yeah, center. that's a town center one. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I know someone who works there. Okay. And then the other one near the Highlands is... Yes, that would be at the corner of 279 and 340. Okay, yeah. Which is, there's a Casey's and uh -huh. then... Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. I drive right past that one every day, so... Okay. I can check you on it. You want to just... Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Because I live class right here in your rear, didn't it? So do we have people assigned to go by and pick, pick up it. the coats and take Help, them to yeah. the pro shop? Not yet. That's well, I mean, I, I'm happy to get in a rotation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how if, often? If you need, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if yeah. you need it, Kathy. Okay. And it's so full. I mean, like, how do you know when it's ready full? Do you have to? I usually call and check at the locations. Oh, okay. okay. And or. <laughs> And or I just drop by, Girl. <laughs> and I usually during that time I I keep um, big rolls of garbage bags with me so that I can go by the locations and empty them, oh, and okay. then bring bring them back. Yeah. 
and I usually bring a lot of them back to Reardon and then bring them over. So, so where's the drop off point when we pick it up? We take it to the pro shop or? Yeah, the oh, old pro yeah. shop, it's where's, where's that? just uh, this, this way. I can show you after the meeting. Yeah, as, oh, as you really walk out the front find. door, mm -hmm. you take a right. right. So basically on the other side of this wall, about 20 feet, is the old pro shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Where will and it's just a pretty good size room, and we would we put the coats in there. Okay, so if we pick it up, like, is it always open, or we have to go get the key, or how does it's that work? It's usually open. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's usually shop. open during the hours that the pro shop is open. Oh, okay. And if it's locked, and then uh, you just go over here and ask um, when the men or woman, women to um, get the key. Oh, okay, okay. So drop off the pro shop. Are there gonna be signs on the wall that indicate where they sort these coats to? Yes, um, we, can, we can do that. I haven't, I haven't thought about that, but that's, that's a good idea. So we're going to sort from November 4th to the 15th. Right? Last year was fun. <laughs> Tom looked like a deer in the headlights. Didn't he? Oh, yeah. Do we God. have... Um, <laughs> yes, I, um, we filled an entire truckload of the leftovers. Yeah. And had to, I distributed them to Goodwill and Helping Hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do we have in a, a lot of hangers? Are you going to have it hang in hangers, hangers or just laying down? For months. We, there's been um, hangers collected. Okay. There should be enough. And Tom did bring up a good point. Um, it is important that we um, focus on the bold lettering on the poster. All coats must be in new or very good fresh laundry condition. Um, I do want to emphasize that for this year. And, and for this year when we're doing that, I think highlight. we should sort them as we go. If it's not mm -hmm. in good condition, put it in another box. disperse or donate it right. immediately. So as we collect them, we should sort through it already, what's good and what's not good. Correct. Yes. So I'm like, do we do that at the pro shop? Like there's a place that we're going to put all the things that's not good or before we take it to the... Either or. Okay. And then what do we do with the ones that are not good? Take them to Goodwill or Helping Hands yeah. or give another the, spot. Give you the freedom to just yeah. make that decision and, and take it to Goodwill, if, if you can. Okay. It'll be obvious to you. Oh, okay. It will be. I used to work to Walmart, so I know what the difference <laughs> So It'll save us a lot of time if we do it like that. I wanted to talk about the coat store on November 16th and 17th also from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, we are welcoming anybody that is in need of these coats to come shop and get their coat um, for, for their children or their self because we, we want everybody to have a warm coat this winter. So how are you advertising this to the community? We will most likely put it in the newsletter and on Facebook would be the best avenues. And I can always talk to newspaper. Lynn Atkins of the Weekly Vista newspaper and see if she, they can put a little snippet of it. Okay. So essentially... And that was the 15th? Yes. And that was the 15th and 16th, correct, yeah. Dylan? The fifteenth, really no, sixteenth, seventeenth, sixteenth, seventeenth. Okay, that's okay. That's what I was wanting to make sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't even think I'm going to bring this up. But <laughs> what would we? What would happen if we did like a a little TV news thing about it? Yeah. Okay. Is it too small to do that? I mean, about the coat, the coat drive, and the coat store. So just doing a video and putting it on um, social media or? No, no, I, I, I'm trying to think about the people that are never gonna look at the Vista, they don't have a subscription, yeah. they don't get on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, they may well not read our newsletter. Mm -hmm. You mean so like as a uh, commercial? Well, type? as a public service announcement. Mm -hmm. in a sense. I'm, not, I'm not sure how those work. 
Oh, you can call right, the NPR. Or right, just a oh, news you clip. Call like, the Bella Vista radio station 106.5. Okay. You can put it there because I That's listen better. to it. And they make announcement. It's Bella Vista radio. You can add that. It's also Bella Vista TV. And Be and Bella Vista, uh, yeah, I don't get that, but yeah, Bella Vista TV. So that would be one way. Because yeah. people drive to work and they listen to the station and sometimes you remember yeah. that better than Honestly, emails. I wasn't aware we had a radio station. Yeah. Didn't have a clue. Yeah. The things you know. Things you it's probably know. not your <laughs> choice of music. Clue. It's probably, I, I don't <laughs> know what kind of music it is, but that, yeah. Where's the antenna for it? I don't know. Oh, Bella Vista? Yeah, I, I had no clue there was a Bella Vista radio really? station. Really? Not a clue. 106.5. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to listen to it on the way home. You know, they have news there, they have Fox News, they have everything, they have music. I mean, good music now is getting better. I can reach out to uh, JB Portillo. She volunteers for the community television, and they do a um, a show each week. It's called Belvisa and Beyond. So maybe she could have one of us yeah. on to Great talk about it. Great place for us to think about going on every once in a while. What's that? Yeah. I said it's a great place for us to think about yeah. going on every once in a while. Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, we can so I'm not sure how much ex we exposure they get. For they applicants. <laughs> we can advertise we're looking for members of our committee there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sure because they're always looking for volunteers for themselves yeah, too, yeah. but they're always looking for um, businesses or individuals to come on and talk about whatever they want to talk about. <laughs> what time is this? What time are we having that code thing on the 16th to the 10 to 3. 8.30? No, 10, 10 oh, to 3. 10, 10 to 3, 10 to Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Okay. To 3 p.m. And I wanted to read the lettering, or the wording on the advertisement real quick and see what everybody thinks. Uh, it says, Savior gently use children's or adult-sized coats or purchase a new one to donate to the Community Involvement's Joint Advisory Committee coat drive. Accepting coats from taller to adult sizes. All coats must be new or very good, fresh laundry condition. Those that need coats will be able to come into the shop and choose their coat. Coats that remain uh, will be given to area schools November 18th through the 25th. Shop our free coat store at the Old Country Club Pro Shop November 16th and 17th from 10 to 3. Have you made, have, has this been printed? Uh, it's been printed on these type sheets, but it hasn't been printed anywhere else. And at the top it says, help a local family. And last year we had help a local child, um, but we, we want to focus on the coats will be for anybody. Yeah, okay. And then it'll, it gives the locations for the drop-offs. Okay. Any thoughts on that? I think I change it from Old Country Club Pro Shop to Country Club Old Pro Shop. Oh, that's right. Because there actually is an Old Country Club building. <laughs> is that an Old Country? Whoa. <laughs> Maybe, should you put the address there? Don't always, I mean, some people don't even know where the country, yeah. if they don't play golf, they don't know where the country club is. Oh, you say country club, all I think of is any golf course. Huh? <laughs> any golf course. Yeah. yeah. That's true. They might think it's in the high I had to narrow it down until you got on the board. Yeah, so we'll put the address. address. <laughs> always, <laughs> I always assume no one knows where it's at. We'll get the address um, added. Yeah. So they can put that into their GPS and gear yeah, right away. Yeah, because that's what, put it in a GPS and make, you know. Longitude and latitude. Yeah. <laughs> Any other thoughts on that? I think that's. I thought it looked pretty good. I think that's got so us covered. Want, um, so should we tell you when we want, when we're gonna volunteer our time for that, or when do you want us there? So the Saturday and Sunday. Because that's because our next meeting. So we would we to get prepared for it. Um, I would say get there at 9:30, so to make sure every everything is ready to go. So we're not gonna like sort together, we'll just sort it as we bring it, is that right? Correct. 
the past two years we've sorted it at the very end and um, there are just so many codes. It, you have people going this way, going that way. It's very chaotic. Are these, uh, medium, large, or that's an Excel, it has to go over there. So other than us, is there anybody else who's helping? I would say I would say reach out to your friends or family. I usually bring my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tom comes. Okay. <laughs> we told him we, he had to last year. So. There was pizza. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, there was pizza. You can have a sorting day, sorting day, and have pizza. <laughs> so if we want to think about that, we we can email each other and see what we can come up with. I'll definitely be there at least a couple hours. On which? On what day? The 16th or the 17th? Probably both. Yeah, I can do all day the yeah. 17th. I'll be out I can, of town. I Later? Do okay. I'll I can do, I'll I can do Saturday. Saturday. Say, yeah, I'd probably 16th. be there for both. And then yeah. <laughs> on that Sunday, I'll probably be there later be, after yeah, church. So well, it's November. All we have to do is oh, sure, put turkey hats on the skeletons. That's so right. Good. No, okay. Easy enough. <laughs> Just call me if you want me to help. Okay. You know, if you have something that you're running out of people. <laughs> <laughs> and then who's going to do the to take it to the school? Let's see, take it to the school. Like whatever is left. The 18th to the 25th. It so it would be um, Gravit, Cooper Elementary, and we did Shur Creek Elementary and Thomas Jefferson Elementary because we aim to get the, the coats to the schools that um, are zoned for Bella Vista. How much was left last year? Did you? It was a lot. A lot? A lot. But you didn't have this, like, come for two days and pick your coat? No. Yeah. No, this so it might be different now that you're telling people like, "Hey, come here and bring yeah. your whole family and pick a coat." But yeah, this is completely added, so that's a great plus. So I think we'll we'll mm. we'll distribute a lot with the coach. We will. Don't you think yeah. so? I hope so. I do. So, would you advertise it to the school still? Well, it will be on the boxes themselves too. Oh no, yeah. Okay. Can you rephrase that question? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm I just wondering, like, I mean, if you're, you're distributing it to the schools, so what's ever is left? Mm -hmm. And now we don't know how much is left until, you know. The have, very end. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's different now, because you're going to have people come in, and sometimes you don't know if they're you know, residents, like they see it advertised, oh, there's a free coat thing, I'm gonna go. Because you, you're not asking them, yeah. like, do you live here in Bella Vista or do you, you know? So it's open to anybody who comes. Right, but it's so, gonna be locally advertised. Yeah. We're not gonna be advertising it mm -hmm. in the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Yeah. So it's gonna be possibly advertised in the Weekly Vista. Yeah. yeah. So I know not every everyone that gets Weekly Vista is a resident because it can be mailed, mm -hmm. but it's going to be mostly locals, okay. residents of Bella Vista. Yeah, yeah I'd be a little more year. concerned if you left, if you left the flyer like at a school bulletin board. So if we left it at like grab it, then I, I would be a oh, little more yeah, leery oh, right, yeah. because then I would think grab it could be. But we're not going to deny anybody coming in no. and getting Oh, absolutely not. Okay. No. Last year, we had some lists of families yes. with specific mm -hmm. oh, coat sizes yeah. that yeah. they mm -hmm. wanted. And they were the first ones, so we would get a list and we would go by and pick up, okay, so they need a large jacket mm -hmm. and then they need a medium and mm -hmm. then a small. How did we get those lists, though? Um, that the schools I'm actually, usually have the list already, kind of like when they do for like the angel trees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They generally have a list ready to go but i don't know who 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 got it last year who who did that last year because it's it janae yeah okay but she that, had that list instead of that that gives those families an opportunity to know about the coat store so i think it work the same okay. you might just want to tell somebody at cooper especially that it's a little different this year so yes i will 
I can that's, that's that's very true. I can reach to the counselor. I can I can one of my my best friends teaches first grade there too, so I have a yeah. You just connected all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Any other questions or comments about that before we um, get to this last agenda item? I just want to say I'm really excited for this coat drive again, our third year doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's always neat seeing the community getting out and um, donating uh, back to Bella Vista. I, I did meet a lady again uh, last week, last Saturday. She gave more coats. So I we have plenty to start out with. It gets better and bigger every year. Yes, sure does. I'm grateful for it. So I want, really appreciate it. The Bella Vista residents doing that. All right, uh, we'll move on uh, to the last agenda item before the open discussion. Uh, this is talking about the minutes presenter at POA board meetings. So every month, I'm not sure who did it this past Thursday. Nobody, Nobody did. No, I, yeah, okay. I was here. I had to step out. It's okay. Uh, so I just want to um, get people signed up. So where we can come to the POA board meetings and present the minutes of our previous um, committee meetings. So, for example, the minutes for this meeting will be presented at the board meeting uh, the, later in the month in October. So I can send out a sign up. Um, I think it's called a sign up genius where we can put, OK, Janet's going to do November. Marissa is going to do December. John's going to do January and so on. Mm -hmm. And that way we can take turns. And if we can't do it that month, we'll just let someone know. And if we can't do it, um, one of the uh, board members do does present it. So possibly Tia or Mary did it this past? I don't think Nobody, anybody. Not at all. OK. So uh, what day of the month is that usually? Thursday. Thursday. Third Thursday. Yeah. December is the second Thursday. Third Thursday of the month. Well, you would present. Yeah. Third Thursday of the fourth meeting. Fourth. Fourth Thursday. Dylan, if, if you want, we can make it real easy. I don't I don't have an issue because 90% of the time I'm going to be at the board meeting anyway. Right. Okay. So fourth. So My idea was board. just getting Except everybody. I mean, if they if they do, she she presented the previous month and yeah. did wonderful. Except for November and December. May I attend a ramble? So I'll um, I'll send I'll send that uh, sign up genius link out so we can okay. just have it posted on there. Any questions about that? Okay. Or concerns? So we just read the minutes. <laughs> we if just do it. You just read. You don't just do the clip. Summarize. Yeah, yeah, just summarize. Oh, just summarize <laughs> what if we talk gonna, about. If you're going to expect a board member to pick it up. You have to have the minutes by the board meeting. Right. Right. The. Okay. And we have to send them to Tammy. The. Okay. But yeah. They should have been. They should have been in there. Oh, it's okay. They're all in there together. So the lakes and the golf and the rec and then the community involvement, they're all in there. But it's nice to summarize. Just have us, yeah. Okay, somebody just. Yeah. All right, I think we're good. Anything else on that? And then I'll open it up to open discussion if there is any tonight. I think we've done that. Yeah, we have. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. And um, just some couple of announcements before we yeah. adjourn is um, the ballots go out for the assessment increase on October 9th, which is coming up very soon. 
Uh, the Flea in the Park at William Springs is October 12th and 13th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And the POA board meeting is October 24th at 6 p.m. here in the boardroom. And our next meeting of the community involvement will be November 7th at 6 p.m. Thank you, everybody.